What's up guys, Ryan here, TradeawayTraining.com. Real quick, before we get into today's video, I want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, on Facebook Sunday, I said that I was working on a four-part series that was going to be released over the next four weeks. And the bad news is, it's looking like that's going to get pushed back one week. The more I started digging into the topic, um, there's just more content that, that I want to Put into it more work than I want to put into it before I release it to you. I don't want to release it until it's ready. So it's looking like it's going to be more like a seven part series than a four part series. So that's good or bad news depending on how you want to look at it. But that will start more than likely next week. And I will go ahead and let you in on what the topic is. I'm working on writing out exactly how you can make your own workout program. And we're going to talk about everything that you need to know from A to Z in order to make your own workout program that's going to fit your needs and it's going to fit your schedule and is going to fit what you actually like to do. That's obviously really important. So over the next seven weeks, that's what we're going to be talking about. And by the end of that, I'm going to release an ebook that's going to contain everything that we talk about and it's going to have exactly how to make your own workout program that is going to be fun, it's going to be time effective, and it most importantly is going to get you the results that you want and it's going to get you that dream body that you want. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and make sure to turn on those notifications so that you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Alright guys, let's get into today's topic and that is do you have to do cardio in order to lose weight? And I want to approach this not necessarily from a yes or no perspective, but more of a necessity versus practicality perspective. And what I mean by that is you absolutely do not have to do cardio in order to lose weight. Uh, weight loss simplified is simply you have your calories in versus your calories out. You know, if you're eating more calories than you're burning, you're going to gain weight. And if you're burning more calories than you're eating, you're going to lose weight. Like I said, that's a little bit simplified, but that's the gist of it. So you have two halves of this equation. And half of that equation is your calories out. And only part of the calories out is actually coming from exercise. So the, the vast majority of the calories that you burn in a day are not actually going to come from exercise. So your exercise is such a small component of the calories that you burn each day. So you absolutely do not have to do cardio in order to lose weight, but you may want to do cardio to, do, to lose weight in certain scenarios. Uh, one easy example is I have one client who just signed up with me. He is six foot ten and weighs, I believe, two thirty is what he told me yesterday. Um, that particular person is going to require way more calories, probably close to four thousand calories, to maintain his body weight. I haven't had him signed up long enough to figure out what that maintenance calorie level is for him yet, but that's just that's just a guess. Um, on the other hand, we. Have uh, let's use another one of my clients. I have one lady who is 5'7", she weighs 125 pounds, and she maintains her body weight at 1,800 calories a day. So you have you know, almost 4,000 and just under 2,000. So there's a very large difference in what those two people need to maintain their body weight. So in order for the, the larger man to lose weight, he's gonna be able to have a lot more calories to play with than the, the smaller woman. And why I make the distinction between man and woman also is because uh, women tend to have a little bit slower metabolism in comparison to the same size male. That's why I'm also making the distinction uh, between male and female and then also with the size. So if you are a smaller person, particularly if you are a woman, you will probably want to throw in some cardio because like the woman I just mentioned, she, in order to lose a pound of body weight per week, she would have to be on 1300 calories. And just, that's just right out of the gate. That's not even factoring in if she goes into a dieting process for a while and her metabolism slows down a little bit and we have to like cut down a little bit more from there. Um, 
that's not a lot of food, guys. Whereas if you're a larger male, you have a lot more calories to play with. So you might want to throw in that cardio in order to give yourself some wiggle room with the diet. Like I said, you have the two things that you have to balance there. You have the calories in, the calories out, and you want to balance those uh, in a way that makes sense for you. Like if you're the type of person where you, you're, you're not very hungry in general, you can probably get away with lowering those calories on down and, and be okay. Whereas if you have a bit of an appetite, you might want to have some, some more of that calorie deficit coming from the cardio versus the food. And then again, I don't want to make this an either or thing. It doesn't have to be create the deficit from cardio or create the deficit from uh, your your food intake, your calorie intake. It can be, it can be either or, but in most situations, it would make sense for it to be some of both. It's using both of those tools, using all the tools that we have at our disposal in order to make a plan that makes sense for you. Another thing to take into consideration is the time factor. Uh, cutting food out of your diet will save you a little bit of time, whereas doing cardio will cost you time. And cardio, depending on what type of cardio you're doing, can take a long time. For example, um, if I were to walk on a treadmill, uh, this is just an equation. There's a calorie calculator that I'll put in uh, the description that you can click on to, to look at in order to get this estimate. But if I, at six foot, 185 pounds, were to walk on the treadmill at three and a half miles an hour for one hour, that's only 318 calories. If I were to do that every single day of the week, that's not enough to burn one pound a week. So you can see how you have to do a lot of, of cardio if you're doing list cardio, low intensity, steady state, list. If you're doing that list cardio, you have to do a lot of it in order to you know, accumulate that calorie deficit in order to lose weight. On the other hand, we have HIT, which is H-I-I-T, high intensity interval training. And with it, you're going to be burning more calories you know, per minute uh, than you would be with low intensity cardio. But the drawback there is when we go in the gym and, and we're working out and we're wanting this lean muscular physique, the key there is we want a lean muscular physique. And our weight training is going to be a very, well, the most important part of the training. And the HIT has a higher recovery component to it than the list does. I'm not going to say that it's going to absolutely trash your resistance training, but you have to keep in mind if you're hitting it really hard with the weights and then hitting it really hard with the high intensity uh, cardio, then it's going to be a lot harder to recover from, from gym session to gym session. So you have to weigh that balance. So personally, I work with mostly uh, busy professionals. I work with people who are working 60 plus hours a week. Uh, many of them have families also that they have to take care of. So they don't have a lot of free time. So it might make sense for you to just say, hey, all right, I get it. It's, it's gonna take up a little bit more of, of my recovery capabilities. It's gonna take up more of my recovery capacity in order to do this high intensity interval training but I don't have a lot of time to work with, so that's just gonna, you know, it just, it just is what it is. So you have to balance that, okay, well do I do the harder high intensity interval training in order to get that calorie deficit, or do I do the low intensity, which is gonna take longer, but it'll be easier to recover from. So you have to weigh that out. Again, it's not an either or thing. You, it might make sense for you to do a little bit of both. Maybe you have, uh, a little bit more free time, but still not an excessive amount of free time available. So you might want to do some high intensity uh, cardio and some low intensity cardio. A again, it, we're, the, the one thing I want to drive home with this video is it's not either or. It's not yes cardio or no cardio. It's not, you know, cardio or all of the deficit coming from the diet. It's not, it's not either low intensity or high intensity cardio it's it's not either or it's both and so it's mixing what you need into the program so that it will make sense for you for your schedule for your preferences 
and you know coming up with a program that makes sense for you and that's the main thing that I want to drive home uh, for you here and one other thing on the topic of recovery that I want to point out is make sure to do your cardio either after your weight training or on a separate day and the reason I say that is because like I already mentioned the weight training is the most important part of your training we want a muscular lean physique not just a skinny physique so we don't want to impede our our weight training workouts we want to have as productive of weight training workouts as we can so whichever you do first is going to negatively impact what you do after so your cardio sessions will be a little bit more grueling if you do weights first because you'll be tired whatever you do first is going to negatively impact what you do second so if you are concerned about muscularity which i assume you are if you're watching this video you want to do the cardio afterwards so we want to be fresh for the workouts so either do the cardio afterwards or do the cardio on separate days and then the last thing that i want to point out with cardio is do not use cardio as a way to get more food as a way to eat more calories and the reason for that is because there's a thing called NEAT N-E-A-T which stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis and that's just a fancy way of saying you know stuff that you do that burns calories without you really knowing that you're doing it stuff that you uh, do subconsciously that burns calories. Uh, some examples of this would be like right now with me talking with my hands while I'm while I'm talking to you guys. It could be, you know, uh, fidgeting with a pen while you're at your desk, pacing while you're on the phone instead of sitting still, tapping your foot while you're listening to music or bobbing your head while you're listening to music. You know, anything like that. Anything where you're moving and burning calories without realizing it, and that adds up over the course of the day to be. A pretty sizable number of calories burned over the course of all of your waking hours and the reason why I point all of that out is studies show that when you do cardio when you do a lot of cardio and you're tired from doing cardio the amount of calories you burn from this non exercise activity goes way down so your non exercise activity drops for the rest of the day and this can actually equate to a pretty large number of calories that you don't burn for the rest of the day. So really, instead of thinking, okay, well the treadmill says I burned 400 calories. Instead of thinking, okay, well that's 400 extra calories that I burned, it's really 400 calories minus how many fewer calories that I will burn the rest of the day minus the calories that I would have burned anyway had I not been on the treadmill. So in that hour that you're on the treadmill, you might have burned you know, 75 calories sitting on the couch, plus the calories that you won't burn the rest of the day from being less active, from being tired. So uh, one study, if, if I can find it, I will put the number up on the screen. I read it a while back, I'll try to find that again. One study stated that uh, one of the participants had a decrease in non-exercise uh, activity of like 40%. It was a really large number uh, for the rest of the day. So let's use an example. Let's say you do 400 calories of cardio and you say, oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm, gonna, you, I'm gonna do 400 calories of cardio. That way I can have this pizza, piece of pizza and this donut that's also 400 calories. Well, in reality, you, you did burn 400 calories while you were on the treadmill, but you, you might have really only burned an extra, if you're this extreme example like I just mentioned, you really might have only burned an extra, you know, 210, 220 calories. So then you eat that 400 calories worth of food that's extra, well then you've really, instead of evening out, you've really had an extra 180, 190 calories. And if you do this on a regular basis, then that's going to add up and that's that could potentially completely cancel out your fat loss progress if you do this on a regular basis one thing that my coach told me when i did my first bodybuilding show uh, alberto nunez he told me remember to always keep the goal the goal and that's something that really stuck with me and what he meant by that is you know we're doing this cardio in order to lose more fat 
if if we are adding in this cardio. We're not adding in cardio so that we can eat more. If we want to lose weight, then keep in mind that that's the goal. If we want to lose weight, use the cardio as a tool to lose more weight. The goal isn't to eat as much food as possible while still making some progress. The goal would be to use cardio in order to make more progress. So the main thing I want, to I want you to take away from this is it's not an either or, it's a both and. Use all of the tools at your disposal in order to get the rate of fat loss that you're after and get to your fat loss goal. Whether that means you use solely lowering your food intake to achieve that calorie deficit, or it means you do a combination of lowering your calories and adding cardio. And then if we're adding the cardio, then you know, are we doing hit, are we doing lists, or are we doing both? So just remember, it's not either or, it's both and use all of the tools at your disposal in order to get to your goal and remember to keep the goal the goal all right guys thanks so much that's going to end this video um, i will be back on the treadway training blog sunday with another fat loss topic as always god bless you and your family and i'll see you sunday